Theaters are known for their ghosts. Take the Gooseberry. In 1919, Gideon Gooseberry was a rising star on the Great White Way. But on opening night, playing the lovesick chimney sweep in ashes to ashes, a 300-pound sandbag came loose from the rafters and brained him in the middle of his second act monologue. Legend has it, if you don't sweep Gideon's energy off the stage every night, he'll find a way to curse your show. There was the cholera outbreak that tore through the company of Hamlet in 1949. John Gilgood's crippling shingles attack during the Iceman Cometh revival in 88. And now, the death of Ben Glenroy. When you make the stage a part of your life, it can be hard to escape your personal ghosts too. Your obsessions, your failures. Just when you think you've broken free from your old patterns, boom, they come back to haunt you. I know President McKinley. Joy took everything, except you and me, the guys with the attitude problems. But we'll be fine. We have each other. But what do you do when your future starts haunting you? The choices you'll never make, the lives you'll never lead. What's more dangerous than someone whose dreams have died? Howard, what's wrong? I have something I need to confess. I killed Ben Glenroy.